from enhancing coastal and marine resources in their habitats to improving water quality. EPA and co-trustees are implementing hundreds of projects to restore the Gulf of Mexico ecosystem. In 2010, the area was impacted by the Deepwater Horizon oil spill, the largest offshore spill in U.S. history. For 87 days, oil flowed into the Gulf of Mexico, causing ecosystem-wide damage. Because of the tides and the currents, the oil actually traveled up from the deep water to the surface and then over to the coast from Texas to Florida. And it damaged a wide array of natural resources. The work of the Natural Resource Damage Assessment, or NERDA, focuses on restoring natural resources affected by the oil spill. State and federal trustees, with public input, have made significant progress under a long-term restoration plan. What we have done is set up seven geographic trustee implementation groups, or TIGs, and they select, fund, and implement restoration projects. The restoration projects are diverse and spread out across the Gulf Coast. They include a marsh creation in Louisiana. The main goal of the project is to basically rebuild about 700 acres of marsh. So we'll have a hydraulic dredge and we'll pump sediment. So the hydraulic dredge will actually go out into Lake Bourne and remove the sediment and it will be placed into the fill area via a pipeline system. And in Mississippi, the state, USDA, and EPA are working to improve and monitor water quality. USDA um, is working really close with landowners in the Upper Pascagoula watershed to help them uh, implement best management practices on their land that will help reduce uh, nutrient runoff and erosion into the watershed. The EPA, uh, we're out here doing the monitoring for the project, so we're monitoring nine sites for all kinds of water quality parameters related to dissolved oxygen, nutrients, um, sediment, um, stream height. These and other natural resource restoration efforts will go on as NERDA continues its work to restore the ecosystem to benefit communities today and for future generations.